Technology is changing every day and we are gaining more and more inspiration from the information that we're exposed to. Taking inspiration from these creations is inevitable, but what if you wanted to use this information you've discovered and make it your own or even educate others? You can't take what isn't yours, especially without giving proper credit, but that's where creative common laws come into play. Copyright is an essential thing to know about before you step into the world of remixing. First of all, what is copyright? Copyright is described by Merriam-Webster as the exclusive legal right to reproduce, publish, sell, or distribute the matter and form of something, such as literary, musical, or artistic work. You have to have the copyright to something to be able to reproduce, publish, or sell, or distribute it. However, if you don't have the copyright, there are still ways you can share information, just not as your own. If you make something, like taking a photograph, you own the copyright to that photo. You can sell it, distribute it, whatever you want to do with it, it's yours. If someone wanted to use your beautiful work on their blog or some other place, you would need to give them permission to do so. Public domain images are something that can be used without permission. You just need to give credit. Some content that isn't public domain can be used within perimeters of purpose, amount, nature, and effect. Like using someone's photo in an educational project, but being sure to cite the source. What does proper credit look like? P is for title, A is for the author, S is for the source, and L is for the license. One way you can make sure that you're following these laws and not using copyright material is by using resources like the Creative Commons search tool. When in doubt, cite it out.